Hi everyone, Pastor Chris here again, and I know I haven't posted in a while, and this is um, shot on a very shaky iPhone probably, so you'll have to forgive me for the uh, for the shot here. But I wanted to post something just really quick. It's going to be short, not going to be long. Uh, but I, uh, if you if you know me, you also know that I have not. I'm not only a pastor, but I have a small firearms company as well, which recently I've added a holster line into custom Kydex holsters. So I'm in in the middle of getting ready to go to a gun show. I'm going to take uh, a few. A few firearms, uh, along with uh, the holsters that I, I have um, um, made. Anyway, I'm getting that together. But I, I had sat down for a small break, and I looked on Twitter for a second, and I came across a post by Warren McGrew. Now, if you know Warren McGrew, he has an, a YouTube channel called The Idol, Idol Killer, and he is a proponent of, of um, a view of God's um, his knowledge called Dynamic Omniscience. I won't get into the details of exactly what that is, but he claims it's different than open theism. So Warren had posted a screenshot of a tweet that Dr. James White had put out. And the tweet in the tweet, James White basically said that uh, that he, 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 he loves it, that uh, John Sanders, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the man who actually coined the term dynamic omniscience, uh, who is an actual open theist, theist uh, that he had told... Warmer grew pretty much bluntly that dynamic omniscience just is open theism, right? That they're synonymous, pretty much the same thing. And so Warren reposts a screenshot of that tweet from James White. And in that repost, he, he challenged Dr. White to a debate on the topic. Now, Warren posts a lot of snarky things, right? He says some things that are pretty snarky. Some uh, He has some... Um, uh, some uh, some dry humor in that way, which is fine. Not a big deal. No big deal at all. So I posted something <laughs> underneath his post that that was a bit snarky, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a personal attack. It was the, it, what I pointed out was simply this: the tweet just said, "Sure, Warren," as in "Sure, uh, James White ought to debate you on the topic because you're definitely a better source than Sanders." Right, Sanders, the uh, the, the the guy who coined the term. Uh, he's the one that understands what, you know, exactly what it is. And yet Warren believes that he's a better source of what dynamic, dynamic omniscience is than Sanders. And that's all I said. I said, sure, Warren, because you're definitely a better source than Sanders. And I said, come on, man. Right. Uh, just a little snarky tweet. There's nothing personal about that. It's not not hurting him. It's not putting him down. It's just saying, look, think about what you said. You want to debate someone on a topic of dynamic omniscience. When they have, when when they when they claimed that the the guy who coined the term uh, has already you know corrected you on what it is, I mean it's open theism. Uh, it, it's just true. So because I gave that one snarky tweet and I told you exactly what the tweet said, and I have I have the tweet, and it, you know if it comes to that, Warren blocked me. Look, the moral of this story is if you're going to be in these types of discussions and engagements, don't have thin skin. There was nothing personal by that. Like, I mean, seriously, if, if something like that bothers you so much that you can't even, you can't even see the post of anybody, because I, I, I have given um, numerous uh, substantive um, engagements with some of the things that Warren has said. I have said numerous times over the past month to two months that I would be willing to sit down and have a discussion on uh, his channel or my channel or, you know, just talk about it, a discussion, not a debate. We didn't have to do a, uh, We don't have to do a, a formal debate, just a discussion on some of the things that he said. He's re he really made a mess out of the whole what they call bail, bail gate or however you want to pronounce that. Um, I, I think he went way too far with that. Um, it, it, the, the simplest thing would have just been to say that, you know, OK, I. I probably shouldn't have said it that way, right? We 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 can drop it, but it's you know it's turned into a bit, a bit of a mess. Uh, but anyway, again, the moral of this story: don't have thin skin, right? If somebody is being just just you know if they're berating you over something, sure. I didn't say anything personal about him. I just said think about what you said. You want to debate James White when he has shown that the person who coined the term has already corrected you on what it means. Why would James White want to debate you if he if he has the source that has already made the point? Doesn't make any sense. So if you haven't interacted with Warren, 
apparently don't be too snarky with him. Uh, other than that, you all have a wonderful, blessed day, and hopefully I'll get out some new content soon. Thank you all. Bye.